So we are with Giz Shainius, a festival director of uh, Stockholm Film Festival. Welcome to Everything. How are you? Thank you. I'm having a great time here in Cannes, as usual. <laughs> uh, we would like to, you to introduce us the Stockholm Film Festival, but first of all, on the presentation you recently had, I've been surprised because uh, you said that in your film festival is almost 50-50 of uh, female and male directors, and that you support that, uh, supporting films. Uh, how did it happen? How do you do it? <laughs> well, well, that wasn't exactly correct. Uh, actually, it was 50-50 when it comes to audiences. So the reason by doing this that we feel that our audience would like to have a female uh, perspective on the film as, as well uh, but we're looking very hard in to find female quality project and uh, so the result of that is that we have around tw 25 to 27 percent every year of female project uh, and that's quite a lot uh, I would say uh, and uh, as you know, it's not. Uh, we think that Cannes is doing a great job, of course, and we who work at the festival also know what a tremendous work it is behind the scenes. But it's also um, uh, very difficult uh, to find the path uh, to really find the, this uh, quality product. So we think that uh, Cannes hasn't really put in the force into this very important uh, issue. Because if you succeed to find a new quality female project, you have to do something. And uh, instead of talking, you can say this is a very um, uh, a practical thing to actually giving out money to a female director. So actually you have uh, presented today also the uh, feature film uh, partially uh, started by your festival, isn't it? Yes, what we wanted to do was, uh, as George uh, Ivanov, the program director, and he said we was fed up by not finding anything. So how do you, because that's the way the film branch actually look like, if uh, we, we can go on and, and looking and looking, but uh, could we do anything to force this to happen more quickly? Because I've been working with this for over 20 years and I can't see any changes or very little changes. Um, so we wanted to start a feature film award uh, giving out to uh, a female director. We started the application, we launched the project one year ago here in Cannes and uh, uh, by the support of uh, Telia, the Sweden's biggest uh, tele uh, operator, um, and uh, also uh, with uh, the Swedish Film Institute and a non-stop entertainment who distribute the film for Nordic and Baltic country. So the price that we're giving out consists of 500,000 euros, uh, which is um, a low budget production you could say but fair enough and uh, all we wanted back was a film <laughs> that had its world premiere at the Stockholm Film Festival uh, and this will uh, continue uh, in totally uh, three years uh, so this is a sort of test to rise on this question okay and a part of this uh, new issue you have started of uh, uh, funding uh, female uh, films. Uh, what are the other sections of the film festival? Because I've seen the catalog and it's it's very big and there are lots of sections, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, Sweden is uh, uh, an international film festival that are very interesting of uh, finding new talents. So uh, uh, we are screening 170 films every year, and uh, to be able to do that, we uh, we screen around 2,000 films every year. And uh, the program is uh, new talents. It's a lot of new talents. It's one third of the program is uh, debutees, so first time filmmakers. So we're really, really eager to find new talents. And uh, in that case, we have been successful, uh, but uh, the, uh, we still uh, want to do something more about uh, the, the, the female question uh, or the lack of uh, 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 directors when it comes to, to females. 
What we do also is uh, we have outdoor screenings in the summers, but we are also very involved in uh, children's and uh, youngsters um, uh, um, um, consuming more quality films. So we have a junior film festival every year. And uh, what we see there is very interesting because we also have a lot of film production with the kids. We have a, um, a one minute uh, film competition. And we have done this for 13 years and uh, we can see that uh, the different uh, with boys and girls are nothing. It is exactly the same boys and girls who give us the films. And uh, this, uh, for five years ago, we started a production in, in school. So we go out with, with cars and uh, have a film project with the school and doing films. And this year we counted everything together. We found that 53% of all the films we were getting in was actually made by girls. So I say, beware, can 2026. <laughs> yeah, so it's coming up. Okay. And do you also have, uh, I think, uh, focus uh, especially on uh, Latin cinema. Uh, I've seen you gave a special award to Alejandro Fertignari too. You have a Latin uh, cinema section. Uh, how is this? Yes, we started um, uh, in the beginning of the 90s. We were very uh, big on American independent because uh, now it's natural, but then it was uh, what is off Hollywood. And uh, then uh, a couple of years ago, we started uh, a whole film section about Asian film, which was a very strong growing area where you can find uh, very interesting films and films that made in a new way, you can say, and we still have this. And uh, Latin vision, as we call it, uh, consider of uh, the whole Latin America and also uh, Spain, actually. And, uh, uh, and, and that uh, film section was formed because we found so many interesting products in that area. And that is a really growing area. And we really look forward to all the interesting products that are coming in there. Uh, the film the, you have uh, presented today is going to be shown two weeks uh, earlier on uh, board on the internet and uh, I'm taking this as an issue I wanted to ask you about the importance of internet for the festival because now I think all the applicants you sh should receive them by email but uh, is there any other things you look forward to do in the future connecting internet and the festival? Well, um, you could say the profile of the festival is to find new talents. Uh, we are interested in uh, uh, the lack of uh, female director. The third leg, so to speak, uh, as uh, if you look at the profile of the festival, that uh, is that we are very ahead when it comes to new platforms for film festival. For example, we were the first film festival, first film festival in the world who started the internet uh, film festival in year 2000. We were actually the first film festival in the world starting a website 1993 <laughs> before it can. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we are also very uh, interested in, we were the first festival also in the world who uh, send out festival films at the same time uh, during the festival as uh, uh, on the net as an experiment and uh, we, did, we did that uh, together with Celia and the interesting things about this um, uh, uh, feature film fund what is actually that because Celia is, is uh, involved uh, the film will be released just two weeks after uh, the cinema premiere uh, on the uh, on Telia and on, and on the net and um, we think that uh, the most important thing for us is to spread quality films and uh, it takes uh, a lot of time and we are against piracy of course and we are, are uh, working very hard to uh, um, make talk to our audience and process the share of course you should pay for for it but on the other hand uh, we, we really want to that this um, often small independent uh, quality film has its distributor even is true so that's the third very important question for us 
And uh, well, the film festival has 23 years, isn't it? And uh, what's the response of a Stockholm audience to the festival? Yeah, we have a, 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 a big audience and it's growing all the time. And that is also interesting in terms of people or the film brands getting nervous of, of us sending out uh, the films. Uh, too early. Um, I have an example of that, and that is actually Miss Kiki, uh, who is a Swedish film that we were shown actually at the same time at the Cinema Theatres in Stockholm, at the same time uh, on uh, on demand at uh, Telia, and in, at the same times uh, at the Square Outdoor, actually. Uh, And uh, then we very closely followed it, uh, the figures, all the time. And the result of this, that it was full house everywhere. It was full house at the cinema theater, though to the fact that you actually could sit at home and see the film on Festival on Demand. Uh, so Festival on Demand is a, a concept where we're testing. Uh, because if you look at to the history of film and how the rights are actually um, uh, proceeded, you can see that the bronze was, was terrified when the CD came and video came and, you know, everything should be ruined. And I think there is a very, very strong um, opportunity for people who like to get together and see film Um, together and uh, to have this space to share the experience so I'm, I'm not afraid at all that this technical revolution who uh, is here to expand is a negative thing I think it's very very positive okay just uh, finishing uh, the date for this year is November 7th and uh, till 18th yeah. uh, Do you want to convince uh, Latin American and Spanish uh, filmmakers to go to Estocom on those dates? It's a little very cold. It's terribly cold, uh, and we just have four days, four hours of uh, daylight every day, but that's the reason why we have it in November. But uh, I, I would love uh, more Latin uh, directors to come to Stockholm. We will uh, welcome them with a warm heart. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.